lot. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Natalie. I am so glad you're here. It's Saturday. We've had a slow morning and to be honest, I don't really know what I'm going to do today. <laughs> I was thinking it'd be fun to do a little weekend vlog because I did have some loose plans, but now they're like a little bit more TBD, so we'll see. But regardless, we're going to kick things off this morning. It's about 11 a.m. And I've just honestly kind of had a slow morning, which has been really nice. I feel pretty tired and like really unmotivated to do anything. <laughs> the heat has just honestly been pretty bad here. We've been in this like heat wave. It's like in the 90s a lot of the time and the humidity is pretty bad. So like right now, because I'm filming, my AC is off and I am starting to sweat. But we're going to see how this weekend unfolds. I want to like go out and do things. So we'll see. It's just going to be one of those vlogs where we just kind of find it along the way. You know, we're going to be, we're going to be a little bit free spirited, a little bit spontaneous. Things I'm not historically good at. <laughs> and try and go with the flow. <laughs> I love a solid plan, so... It's hard for me to just like, we'll wing it. I'm like, no, tell me exactly what we're doing every single minute of it. But in this case, I'm kind of leading the charge for my own plans of like, I don't know what I want to do. So we'll see, we'll figure it out. It is so hot. I'm gonna have to go. I'm gonna have to turn my AC on. In the immediate future, I don't know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> uh, we're, we're gonna, we'll figure it out. Thanks again for being here. Oh, suddenly I'm running behind. I have done nothing all day, loud car, and it's four o'clock. I'm gonna go meet my boyfriend in Cobble Hill. We're gonna just like get drinks or maybe dinner. We're gonna hang out a little bit um, because it's so hot out and I don't really wanna be stuck in the apartment the rest of the day and neither does he. So we're gonna go meet up, hang out, it'll be fun. Um, since I saw you this morning, chillin'. I was like pretty productive. I edited a little bit of some YouTube stuff. I had kind of like an admin productive chunk of time. Like I updated some of my accounts to my new address that I'm gonna be moving into. I looked into like renter's insurance that I'll probably need. I signed up for one password so I don't, so I don't keep all my passwords just in my notes app anymore. <laughs> Anyways, those are the things that I feel like aren't super exciting to see, so here we are. I am going to throw on a little bit of makeup and get going. It's just so hot. I actually don't really know why I'm putting on makeup. I'll just do a little bit. I just want to feel like I haven't been at home all day. You know, where it's like, I don't need to get like dolled up, but I also want to feel like cute and like I'm going to like be out in the world. I don't really know what the rest of the night slash my weekend is going to look like tomorrow i need to stop by my new apartment and check on some things as in i'm gonna get a few more measurements for my room i think i'm gonna drop off some plants that i can just do now that like small plants um and i also want to see like what my roommate has in the kitchen and in the common space so I can figure out more of like things that I don't need to bring or things that I can sell or just like have in storage. Oh, I guess I should say that if you're new to my channel, I'm about to move. <laughs> like the new apartment, I am moving into a new apartment in a couple weeks and the moving process has started. I have a few vlogs on it, but basically my roommate is already living there. And so I'm going to go and just kind of get a sense of what's what what's happening where things are at so that will be tomorrow for sure so we'll see we'll play it by ear i was pretty productive on friday on my summer friday so i wouldn't have to do it over the weekend go me um and now i'm just trying to find ways to stay cool this i feel like i've been like patting my cheeks for like ever i just always do like really small amounts because it goes on pretty heavy as you can see but then i sweat it off Unfortunately for me, I am a very sweaty, shiny person. 
and I've just come to accept this part of myself. So I don't think I'm actually gonna do um, anything crazy because I will sweat it off. There are just some people who like don't sweat and I wish I was one of them, but I'm not. So like I said, heading into Cobble Hill, it's about a 20 minute train ride, a little bit north of where I live. There's just like a couple blocks um, where there are like a ton of restaurants, a couple bars, there's like bookshops, cute other cute shops. It's a nice little area to just like walk around and bebop. And it's pretty accessible from both my place and where my boyfriend is currently hanging out, which is by the water. So we're gonna basically meet in the middle. And then he will probably come over and we'll hang out and that's gonna be my Saturday. Pretty low key. I think I've finally accepted that summer in New York City is not for me. It's just not my favorite. I think I've been trying to convince myself the past two summers that I've been here that like New York City in the summer is gonna be so fun and this just like great time and it's really not. And I think it's just because I'm spoiled and used to Southern California summers with like perfect beach weather and easier access to the beach. And here it's just tough. It's just so hot and humid. And I feel like there's less to do because you can't be outside without just like melting into a puddle. And, and this year I think I've just decided to stop fighting that and be like, okay, it's not my favorite season. That's okay. I'm just gonna accept it and do what I can. So putting less pressure on myself to like go out and have a super great fun summer and just be like, okay, can I get out of the house a couple times a week? Can I go see friends still? While also knowing that sometimes I just need to like sit in the AC. I think that's a healthy mindset. Also, I have been pretty vocal about it this year of like summer is not my thing. And so many other people have also been like, yeah, I don't like summers here. so. That does feel validating. I really actually don't know why I'm putting this on because I will probably sweat it off, but that's okay. I, will, I just want to feel a little bit cute. I'm not like running late, but if I don't leave in the next like five minutes, I will be running late. And I always do this. I had like two hours in between when we decided to meet at 5.30 and when I needed to leave, which is five to like get ready, do what I needed to do, not be in a rush. And like 10 minutes ago, I was like, I gotta go. <laughs> but luckily, it's just a hop on the train. I just I just don't like being late, but somehow I always find myself in this predicament where I'm like, I gotta go, but I'm still on time. So I think that counts for something. I am not prepared for the heat, but it'll be great. Hopefully we'll find like a cute little bar. There's two spots that we go to in Cobble Hill that we like a lot. One is like a beer spot ca called Talia. It has just a bunch of like, it's like craft draft beer and then another spot is congress bar that has more like cocktails and it's a little more like dimly lit and cute so we'll see what the vibe is but that's what's happening so let's go venture out into brooklyn twist it's monday <laughs> last time you saw me it was saturday i did not vlog at all yesterday <sighs> my intention was for this to be a saturday sunday vlog um that obviously didn't happen and that's okay we're gonna pick it up we're gonna keep going you can let me know if you think it's kind of weird <laughs> something something i talked about a few vlogs ago was trying to figure out how to make sure this channel is like sustainable and then I can approach it and make videos in a way that feels a little bit easier so that I don't burn out. 
and that's what we're trying today i didn't vlog yesterday it just it just didn't happen there were some factors where i was like i don't i'm i don't know i'm spending quality time with some people i don't need to be filming so i just decided not to but we're gonna pick it up instead of completely scrapping it because i did film saturday and also it's just kind of life like sometimes life gets in the way so this is my attempt at remedying not vlogging yesterday we'll move forward with today it's monday i'm gonna be working from home pretty normal day i don't have any plans tonight i need to do a little bit of meal prep for the week ahead and a few small errands that i'll probably do on my lunch i need to go to the post office to verify my identification so i can forward my mail to my new apartment i don't know why i have to go in person this has never happened to me before and i've done this a couple times but whatever and then i might stop by the corner market to get like a red onion and some avocado for some things i want to make this week and then we'll do that and feel good about the week ahead and i think that's kind of it that's all the agenda i do need to really start buckling down and thinking about my move um yeah i just ah uh, i hyper fixate on things and it 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 just takes a lot a lot of brain space so i'm gonna try to attempt to manage that better during this move there's only so much i can do it's not always not everything is going to go perfectly but it will get done that's that's i think that's going to be my mantra of this move it will get done it's gonna happen it'll all be okay i'm gonna get going here for work back to regularly scheduled programming day is done it's late it's like 10 30 and i basically just spent the rest of the evening after work meal prepping as you saw and editing for youtube i always feel like it's really <laughs> meta when i edit while i'm also vlogging it's really not that big a deal but it just is funny to me it it was not the best day I will be honest, I'm a little bit, I'm not in the best mood here, and that's okay, I don't need to be, like I don't need to pretend to be, but sometimes it's annoying to feel like I'm ending a vlog on like a down, a downturn. Basically, I got some news, some work news that I can't really share because it's confidential. Um, so this is going to be very vague, for which I apologize, but <laughs> it's kind of all it can be. It just is gonna change kind of how the next like six months play out at work. It's gonna be really busy and really chaotic. And that's just kind of the reality. My boss was pretty like uh, explicit in that, like it's gonna be a really intense couple months so 
The publishing industry is a strange one. <laughs> I wish I could say more. I have a lot of thoughts and a lot of feelings about the industry in which I work. I, I, I love my job. I love what I do. I want to continue working in this space, but it's just so unlike what I expected. It's such a romanticized job and career path like becoming a book editor it's like sounds so romantic and cool and it is in a way but there's just so many things i didn't expect that's so vague i know but i just kind of have not been in the best mood this evening because i feel like i'm I have to mentally prepare to just be stressed out for the next couple months because we've been through something similar and it was tough and something i even talked about earlier on this vlog was like how do i make sure i can like upkeep my channel and not burn out because i do also have a full-time job and so i'm even like oh just the timing of like oh my gosh i feel like i have time and some space to like do my youtube again and and this makes me feel like it's gonna be a bit of a challenge so i don't know i have a lot of a lot of thoughts and um going to try to let it go so i can at least for tonight so i can sleep and there's nothing really i can do um and just kind of hope for the best but that's been my night <laughs> i wish it was more uh i don't know i guess it's just different another annoying thing that happened was that i i had meal prepped another thing this like tofu ricotta spread that I, to go with the vegetables I roasted and it didn't save my memory card so strike two for the evening but I did watch Love Island and that did make up some ground that was that was fun anyways I gotta I gotta go to bed I'm just like this day needs to be done <laughs> and it's so hot that's gonna be the refrain of my vlog for like the next two months I'm sweating and I just showered, um, so I need to turn this ACE unit on so I cannot, oh, I'm like so damp. <laughs> okay, it's time for bed. Thanks for coming along this really strange vlog. I don't really know what it was, but we're doing our best. So thanks again, and I hope to see you very soon.